Hi guys, it's Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go EV trailer slash reaction video. Um, we are here. Um, as you guys know, a bunch of stuff has been going on with the Let's Go Pikachu and EV um, uh, game and like news and stuff like that over the last couple days because we did get an interview from uh, Junichi Masuda, I believe it was Masuda, um, who talked a lot about the game and its post game and stuff like that. Um, I didn't really want to cover it because there's not a lot of hype surrounding Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and we kind of already know what the game is going to be so most of the news to me isn't too like crazy. I'm looking forward to playing the games but like when they released trailers, they released a trailer a couple days ago and it was just a trailer that literally showed us gameplay that we'd already basically seen like, except for like like the Mewtwo cutscene um, which I did see. I didn't think it was worth reacting to. Um, I've seen, I haven't watched this one, but the title of this video is uh, Become a Master Trainer in Pokemon Let's Go. Now I saw that Masuda had answered a few interview um, questions that were talking about post game, and he mentioned that um, the master trainer is the post game part of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So they made a trailer on it. I don't know much information about what that post game is, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that they're going to detail it in the game, uh, in this trailer. Sorry, um, but I do want to quickly say that I'll mention that he, um, in the in the uh, in the interviews as well. I think that he mentioned that if Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee gets enough love, then they'll, they'll may potentially transition to Johto too. I don't know if they mean that as DLC or a second game, but um, that's interesting to hear. Uh, I don't know. How, I really don't know how well or how bad Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is going to do. Um, so it's going to be um, surprising, an interesting release, I should say. Um, but let's watch this trailer. Let's see what this is all about, because um, obviously the regular red and blue games and yellow didn't have any post game, apart from catching Mewtwo. That's it. They didn't have any post game whatsoever. So. If you can count Mewtwo as post game, but like this master trainer thing may add. Well, I I heard that in the interview that people were kind of like worried about the fact that the post game isn't anything crazy, but we'll see. Let's just let's just check it out. Master trainers have arrived. So they have like a little speech bubble above their head. Each is dedicated. To training one Pokemon. Oh, find. Okay. So they can be random NPCs or previous trainers? No items. <laughs> one Pokemon. Oh my god! Fox! Final destination! No items on? Does it have to be the same Pokemon? Oh, it's on 75. They use unexpected attacks. Oh. Uh, yeah, it has to be the same Pokemon, I guess. Can you defeat each one? And claim every title. What happens when you do? Welcome to Pokemon Center, Venusaur Master Elaine. Oh, uh, okay, so you get a little title. Okay, so let's go back to this real quick. Let's pause it. So, trainer, random trainer of Viridian Forest, this person is a master trainer of Pikachu. So I, I'm guessing after you beat the game, you can traverse around the, the region and find each master trainer. And you can see each one has like they have Farfetch, you know, Executor, Dragonite, Dugtrio, Ma Magikarp, uh, all these guys. Okay. Wait for it. All right, so here's this guy's Charizard, and I assume you have to train your own Pokemon, your own Charizard up to, to face off against him, right? They, they literally train, only, only train one Pokemon. You see this guy, this guy right here. Like, he's just chilling. He's literally just chilling in the bush. Actually, what route is that? Where is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, so that's Diglett's Cave on the left, is it? And then this is the... I believe this is east from uh, Vermilion, I believe. I might be... No, that definitely is. It has to be. Okay, so there's a train... Is there one in the house? This person is... Okay, so challenging... Challenge them. No items. One Pokemon only. The ultimate duel. It doesn't say you have to use the same, but that's outrage. It doesn't say you have to use the same Pokemon as them, but that's what we're seeing. And they have like egg moves and stuff like that, like, or move tutor moves. Like, because how do you get pincer rock slide? Isn't that like an egg move? And I don't know if there's breeding in this game, unless it's like south of Cerulean. Let's go to Mega Drain. And that's that Lapras has solo beam. And then when, like, when you've beaten, you can choose the title so you can be Venusaur Master. So I could be 
Wow, I don't have any crazy if Mew Master? And this is 151, so technically there could be Mew Master. So I could be Mew Master. Who knows? Is that 151 titles? I don't know. But that's an interesting post-game. It um it's not like amazing, you know, but it's like it's better than nothing, I suppose. Um, I wonder if there's something extra you get for defeating every single Pokemon and claiming every title. Um maybe not. It kind of reminds me of like the Mount Mount Battle in Colosseum. Except you can just go to each one yourself. It's kind of similar to that. There's like a bunch of battles you can do. Um, but it's nothing special, in my opinion. Uh, I wish that they had done something else. Like, I don't know, the Sevi Islands existed in Fire Red. They weren't post-game, but like you could go there. Actually, well, they were. Because there was you could only get to the first three islands, and then there was, seven, there was like four more in Fire Red. Like, I wouldn't be opposed to them bringing the Sevi Islands back to do post-game. Um, they, I feel like they could have done a little bit more with that. But that... That's it. That's kind of it. I'm not really impressed. I'm not sad about it, but I'm not also like, oh my god, that's really cool. It's good. It's great that they've got something to do after the game, but I don't, you know, maybe, maybe when you battle each other online in, like, in um, Wi-Fi battles, instead of saying Pokemon Trainer, you are challenged by Pokemon Trainer. This person, it will say challenged by Venusaur Master or Mew Master. So it's, it's cool that you can change your title, and maybe that's a little cheeky thing that they might be doing in, like, uh, the, the Gen 8 games where you can actually customize your title fully. Uh, by doing certain tasks and stuff, then maybe that's just, maybe they're just building up to that. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's interesting, but it's nothing ma massive either. I suppose while we're here, um, I can go ahead and very quickly check out or just show you guys the. Uh, uh, it's not even on this one actually. It's on. It's weird because it's on the Nintendo UK uh, YouTube channel. It's right here. I see. You can see I've watched it, but just as a quick, you know, I'll throw this in here now. This is the first one I've ever seen. A oh yeah, that's okay. So this is a very good point. Right here, you can see. It's the first time I've seen a trailer on the Nintendo UK channel. It's not on the Pokemon. But you can see, if you very, very look very carefully, the trainer here changes hair color, changes skin color. So there is customizable options for your character in this game, at the very least. There will probably be a bunch of preset ones, but at least you can change the default, you know, skin color and, and hair color. Which is good. I like that. So. This is just showing a bunch of cutscenes we've basically seen. You can see the, 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 the customized watchmen for the girl too. Um, Pokemon interacting with their environments. That looks like, okay, so this one here. This looks like when Bill is stuck in his costume and he teleports from one machine to the next. Because I remember in Pokemon Yellow, Pikachu is just like super shocked by the fact that Bill walks out of another room. But like, uh, yeah, it looks, because because of all like the, the research, what looks like research and stuff like that in the background, it looks like Bill's house potentially. We'll see though. Okay, riding on Pokemon, Dragonite looks so good. Uh, we have the the uh, the, 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 the Pokemon Go Safari, the Viridian Forest, seen it all, seen this, uh, Lavender Town, double capture. It's like a guaranteed. It must be like guaranteed capture if you do that. Yeeting Pikachu against Fero, Yeeting Eevee against Staryu. Boom, my god, it's, it's just like, are we cool? It, it's, this reminds me of like maybe the, the, a TV advertisement that would be on like British television. Because I don't see anything special with this trailer. It's all tr stuff we've seen. Are they show off, do they show off all, they show the first four gym leaders, don't they? Obviously we saw these trailers recently. They are so good, they look so good. But the one trailer, the, the one part of the trailer that I appreciate is the last part. Which is right. And Solar Beam does that though. Good job, buddy. Wi-Fi battle area looks really, really cool. That looks sick. Guillotine. Explosion. And then look at Mewtwo. That cutscene looks sick. That cutscene looks wicked, by the way. Looks awesome. But yeah, that's basically all there is with this trailer. We have the Master Trainer post game. Um and then we have like a little bit of this that came out a couple days ago. I'll link both of them in the description if you want to go watch them yourself. Maybe, maybe you missed this one because it's on the UK channel. I know I'm really picked this one up. I saw Powders did a reaction to it, but it's nothing crazy. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys, about this post game. Um, are you glad they put it in? Would you prefer them to go a little bit more in depth and done something more with the game? Because we already know Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee or P Red and Blue are short games, anyways. Who knows? Maybe they'll extend the story and there's more to the game that meets the eye. But I just. I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit worried because <laughs> I feel like it's gonna the game. We're gonna play the game and there's gonna be no post game. But at the same time, there's still be replay value. Maybe like if if we can get like our own Nuzlocke variants going and like randomizers potentially, that'll be good fun. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to check out the trailer yourself because um, it's you know it's worth checking. Maybe I don't know. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.